Okay. Llewellyn Sabbat Essentials Sawin. Okay, and this one, written by Diana Mitchell. So again, it has the series introduction. Fire Festival. So. Um, to the ancient Celts, so would mark the most important four of the Celtic fire festivals, located between an equinox and solstice. Yada yada. Um, talks about costumes. Um, what well, began with the Druids and ancient Celt um, villagers dressing as animals. Or as frightening creatures such as ghosts and wandering the edge of their settlements and groups evolved into the moving ri ritual theater known as mumming. And it continues on. Um, new way of a divination party. Mark that because I'm doing tarot. I do tarot. And one of the spells I'm, I might I'll likely try out is spell to assist in creative flow. And baked apples. This one. Kale chips. Um, apple curry soup. Um, shows you how to make sugar skulls. And um, how to um, craft your pumpkin. It's one way. Um, parcel. So you got salmon oil, salmon, salmon bath salts, divination potion, invocation for strength, and Posted over that facing winter, wild hunt, um, souls re resurrected, um, invocation to the crone, oasis, Isis, um, the fates, psyche, Hecate, Persephone, and, uh, and there's other ones there too. A divination prayer. Um, and so on. And it basically follows the same outline as the other uh, books, but Samhain. And again, own little Samhain picture for the correspondences and like the other um, images. Oh, wait. So it was others. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Eleven ninety nine US, thirteen ninety five Canadian. Um, if you again, if you want a book on the Sabbaths, this is something to look into. And it see, seems like Llewellyn tried to do another series, but they only did um, three or four of them. <laughs> Wait, I because I was looking out on the website, and it only seems like three or four of them are there. But yeah, um, this is going to be a complete series. Um, ow. And like this is a standalone book, so if you just want to get the Samhain book, because to you that's more important, um, get it. Um, yeah.
So it's a good little book. Not huge, but it it does have, um, to me, good information and like little snippets of stuff. Um, how other people have practiced, what's going on. But yeah. Nothing bad to say. <laughs> kind of just repeating myself, but for a new Sabbath. There you go. Happy readings.